Hello everyone, my name is Jaya Marie Addo and I'm from BS Ed Filipino 2A. In today's video, I will be talking about volleyball team composition. But first, I'll give you some volleyball background information. What exactly is volleyball? Volleyball is a team sport in which two six-player teams compete against each other across the net. Under regulated regulations, each team aims to score points by grounding a ball on the opposing team's court. Volleyball is a sport that may be played both indoors and outdoors. A net, a ball, a post, and an antenna are equipment needed for volleyball. In addition, the volleyball court is 18M by 9M in size. What is the volleyball team composition? On a volleyball court, there are six positions each of which plays a distinct part in the team's success. You must rely on each player to not just execute their job but to do it well just like you would with any other competitive team. Volleyball is a pass-based sport that involves strong athletic ability. You can choose which of these six positions to play based on your skill set and the component of the game you excel at the best. So, Volleyball team composition composed of Seater, right side heater, middle blocker, opposite heater, outside heater, and libero. Ball ay may anim na player sa loob ng court. Ang uno ay ang setter. Dos ang right side heater. Tres naman ang middle heater or blocker. Ang nasa kwatro naman ay ang opposite. Ang singko ay ang left side heater or opener. At ang nasa sa is ay ang libero. Outside hitter, also called wing spiker, left side. Together with the libero, the player who carries the serve is held accountable. The lead attacker in the offensive approach is the outside hitter, sometimes known as a left side batter. You must be able to jump high, react quickly, and adjust the varied condition to be a great outside hitter. Outside hitters must be prepared for hits from a variety of directions because the volleyball will not always be placed where they want it. Right side hitter, also called wing spiker right side. They are responsible for pass, attack, block, serve, and defense in both the front and back rows. Right-handed batters try to get the right front of the field as soon as possible. Right side hitters often have 3 meter or 10 foot attack responsibility from the middle back position when playing top level international volleyball on the back court. A wing spiker is a right-handed batter who hits from the right side of the court. Opposite hitter, also called attacker, the team player who scores the most points on a regular basis. These players, also known as right side hitters, must be a perfect balance of offense and defense. They also have a lot of possibilities to hit the volleyball. Thus, jumping skills is important, just like it for the outside hitter. The biggest distinction that distinguishes the opposite hitter is their defensive responsibilities. One of the numerous needs of this particular position is the ability to receive the serve from the opposite side. Seater, it is a skill job that takes a lot of practice in hassle. On the court, seaters are particularly adept at navigating offense. The volleyball team's player, point guard, or quarterback. The sitter is the volleyball team's primary offensive contributor. One of the sitter's responsibility is to have a delicate touch when sitting the ball for one of the attacking players. The sitter must communicate effectively with the rest of the team in order to get everyone on the same page. There would be no hard spike or technical ball movement without the sitter. Middle blocker, also called center middle hitter. The main goal is to put a stop to the opponent's offense. The middle blocker, sometimes known as middle hitter, is the volleyball team's tallest player. The initial line of defense against the opposing team's hit is their primary responsibility for the team. To make a blocking attempt, the middle blocker must read the other team's attackers and immediately left his or her arms over the net. 
This is not, however, slowly a defensive position. Throughout the set, the middle blocker will have opportunity for a quick point. Libero has excellent ball control and plays in the back row. For non valuable players, the Libero can be perplexing because they can only play in the back row of the court. They are the ideal individual to take a blow from the opposing team. The Libero must adhere to certain rules, including avoiding attacking the ball at the net, playing a set for an attacker from the front, and so on. Liberos wear a different colored shirt than the rest of the team, so you can always tell them apart. So there you have it, the volleyball team composition. Thank you for listening and watching. I hope you learned something from this video.